Before the video, I want to let you know that I will be using an um, uh, audio effect uh, plugin which is outside the software and you need to download that software and put it onto your software in order to use uh, the plugin. So the software I'm going to be using is called AutoTune Evo VST. So the link will be in description. Once you download the file, it will be a zip file. What you need to do is double click on the zip file. Then you need to copy this folder. Copy this and go to wherever your downloads folder or desktop folder, where whichever wherever you want to save it, then go ahead and paste that. And once you've pasted it, you should see a folder there. And ignore this file, which is at the bottom. That's the zip file. So you want to double click on that file, then click on Setup. Then when, once you click on Setup, uh, go ahead and click Next, 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 and proceed to the installation. And this will take about uh, 30 seconds. Then once the installation is done, go ahead and close it. Then go ahead and open up your uh, Audacity program. Once you've opened up the program, go to Effects, go to Add or Remove Plugins, then go to New, and you should see AutoTune Evo VST. Go ahead and click Enable first. Go click Enable, then click OK. Then once you clicked uh, Enable and OK, you should go to Effect, and you should see the effect in auto, uh, here. AutoTune Evo VST. So that's the plugin I'm going to be using in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Audacity and I'm going to go ahead and record uh, my singing voice into Audacity. She was once a true love of mine. She was once a true love of mine. So I'm going to go ahead and go to effects and I'm going to go to add an auto tune here and I'm going to do D minor that's the original key of the song and click apply and let's listen to it now she was once a true love of mine okay I'm going to go and take the last bit because that's the one I think sounds right. I'm going to copy that and paste it again. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go and duplicate this track. So to duplicate this track, you go to edit and go ahead and duplicate this track. Once the track has been duplicated, you want to select the whole track by double clicking this grey area and go to effect I'm going to put delay copy my settings regular minus 6 0 0.300 pitch tempo 0, 0, 0, 0, 5 yes and click OK then I'm going to go ahead and apply a reverb now the reverb copy my settings 100 10 100 50 100 100 10 minus 20 100 wet only click OK and once OK what you want to do is you want to uh, go here audio track then you want to do split stereo to mono so this one the first track I'm going to leave it to the left pan it to the left then the second one I'm going to pan it to the right so this is just one stereo track, but I've split it in mono track, so I can pan those reverb effects to the left and right. And I have the center speaker in the middle. So what I'm going to do to the center is double click on this gray area to select the whole track, and go to effect, go to compressor, and click OK. So now you can see the vocal will stand out from the... Uh, quiet places and the higher places so it's all in the same level so what I'm going to do is I think the vocal I'm going to go ahead and play it back to you so you can hear it she was once a true love of mine she was once a true love of mine she was once a Okay, if, uh, let me try and 
try to bring it down a bit. So let me try to leave it at minus five. She was once a true love of At minus three because I think that that's what I like. You can do your your one uh, at zero if you want. So I'm gonna keep my one at three. So let me go and solo this track so you can listen uh, listen to it uh, with the effects and without the effects. So this is just uh, without the effects. She was once a true love of mine. She was once a true love of mine. She was once a true love of mine. Let me go ahead and play uh, with that uh, um, uh, just the effect. So I'm gonna mute the vocal itself and play the effect. She Listening to the added effect, it kind of gives you that uh, feelings. What the uh, what what it sounds like? It's called a synth strings, so and a string strings instrument. So the you got this strings ambient sounds from that vocal uh, tune. So that's why I like about this. That's that's what that's the main thing that makes the vocals stand more like uh, musical and better so, let's play all together she was once a true love of mine she was once a true love of mine another thing i want to show is if you've be if you get any like muddy sounds from the reverb which we've added uh, let, let me just solo this if you get any muddy sound like there's too much kind of like bassy sounds in the reverb uh, the way to fix that is go ahead and select this track and go to effect and apply a high pass filter so what this does is it removes uh, all the low frequency uh, so you don't hear these kind of muddy muddy reverbs so when you apply this you're gonna have to turn up the uh, reverb volume the effects volume a bit higher because let me click OK so you can see what happens to the wave uh, in there so as you can see, as I said, once you click uh, to add that high pass filter, it makes the sound volume go down. So you're going to have to lift it up maybe around 10. Then I'm going to do it uh, for the other mono track as well. Go to effect, apply in a high pass filter. So now I've um, I've put it at uh, plus 10 so I've increased the volume by 10 on each mono track so I think that 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 what sounds best it could be different to to your track so just play around with the volume and see which sounds best to you and uh, that's it and to export the track the whole track you go to file Go to export audio, then name your track wherever, then choose uh, wave or MP3, then 
and you see the choose wave then just name it and click save and that's it your track is done